Welcome back guys, so in this video I'll be showing you how to install FSR frame generation mods in Marvel's Midnight Suns, Dying Light Part 2 and Star Wars Jedi Survivor. For the first game I'll be using free FSR 3 frame generation mod by Nukem9 and for the last two games I'll be using the paid FSR 3 frame generation mod by Luke FC. We'll be testing these games on my Windows PC that has an RTX 2070 Super GPU. I'll kick things off with Midnight Suns. I own the Steam version of this game. We'll be using build version 0.9 of Nukem 9's mod. Universal DLL version. No new updates since the last week. Just click on the Nexus Mods link here. This mod works only on RTX based GPUs. It replaces DLSS frame generation with FSR frame generation. Just click on Manual Download under Universal. Need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Then click on Slow Download. Extract the contents of the archive file that you just downloaded. For this game, we just need to use the dbg help version. Open this folder. Copy the two DLL files. Install instructions have been provided in the readme text. Now open the games directory. Select the game in your steam library. Right click. Go to manage then click on browse local files. This is the games install directory. Don't paste the files here. Open engine folder. Open binaries folder. Open third party folder. Open dbg help folder. Paste the files here. Overwrite dbg help.dll file was already present in this folder. Replace. Now we need to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting. Right click anyway on your desktop, then click on display settings. Then click on graphics. Click on change default graphics setting. Make sure this toggle is enabled under hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now we need to enable vSync from NVIDIA control panel. Make sure your GPU drivers are up to date. Click on global settings. Scroll down until you find vertical sync and set it to on. You can also apply this setting on a per game basis. Just click on program settings here. Then click on add. Find the game's exe file. In my case, it is Midnight Suns. Found it. Scroll down. Set vSync to on. Apply. Don't need to execute any registry files. Close the control panel. We are ready to run the game. You can run this game with Afterburner overlay running in the background. Game will not crash. 2K launcher will start first. There it is. Just click on play. Video settings. First, I'll run the game without frame generation, full HD resolution, DLSS enable, preset set to quality, DirectX 12 API. I'm using the Epic Graphics preset. Ray tracing is enabled. Start the game. It's a tactical role playing game from Firaxis Studio. I have started playing the game only recently, having a blast. In order to perform any move, need to draw a card. I'll perform this move slash. This attack has a knockback effect. I'll select the enemy. Eagle getting around 95 FPS. Power grid is behind this enemy. He That's went flying into it. He got stunned. I'll perform blade strike attack. Take out the enemy. Multiple enemies will receive damage. Your Interact with this item. Come get it. <laughs> that did a lot of damage. So 95 to 100 FPS. Now I'll enable frame generation. Just go to video settings. Set frame generation to on. Now we are getting around 144 FPS. Maxed out my monitor's refresh rate. The game is running smoothly. Moving the camera. Animation is smooth. Perform some moves. Okay, I am out of heroism. Need to end my turn. They are retaliating. Special moves are not slowing down the game. 
GP load is now 80% only. Well, on I'm not observing any ghosting around the character models. Even the game's interface is not flickering. That gamma spike we detected in your area seems to be growing. Let's assume that this not mod works very thing. nicely in this game. I'll not, be testing I the next the one. Now I'll show you how to install Luke FC's modern Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Need to subscribe to Luke FC's Patreon page in order to gain access to their Discord server where the mod files are present. Patreon's monthly subscription costs around 6.01 US dollar. A new version of the mod is available, version 0.10.1. DLSS streamline implementation has been reworked and subsequently lfc.sl.dlss.dll file has been removed. This file is no longer needed. The setup process has been simplified. Download the mod files. First download the common mod files. Jedi Survivor uses FSR version 2.2, so need to download the ASI file corresponding to it. From the drop down list, just select generic FSR 2.2. Then click on the green bar here. Dying Light Part 2 uses FSR version 2.0, so download the ASI file corresponding to it. Click on the drop down list and select generic FSR 2.0. Common mod files remain the same, you don't need to download them again. Then click on the green bar here. I have already downloaded all of the mod files. Just to be clear, this mod works on all of the GPUs, Intel, Nvidia and AMD. So just open the common folder, extract the contents of the archive file, copy the two files. Don't need to copy this folder. Need to paste it in the games install directory. I own the Epic Games version of Star Wars. It basically runs the EA Play version. So I'll just open the game from EA Play client. Just click on library, then click on the three dots on the game's box art, then click on view properties, click on browse here. This is the game's install directory. Open SW game folder, open binaries folder, open Win64 folder, paste the files here. Now need to copy the ASF file corresponding to FSR 2.2, extract the archive file. Already done that. Copy the ASF file. Paste it in the same directory where you pasted the previous files. Right here. Now just make sure after burner overlay is not running in the background, otherwise the mod will not work. So I'll be using Windows toolbar to show you the performance metrics. Just press the Windows plus G keys together. First I'll run the game without frame generation. Full HD resolution using the high preset. In-game vsync disabled, ray tracing disabled, DLSS enabled, set it to quality. I load the planet Kobo area. Playing as scan, here we are getting around 80 FPS combat time. Slice the enemies. Image quality looks crisp. I'll play the game for a brief moment. Sixty to eighty FPS. Now I'll enable frame generation. A new window will pop up, it will show you some logs. This means the mod is working using the same settings as before. DLSS set to quality. Frame generation set to on. Textures are appearing to be faded out in the menu. There's Cal. I've tested Nukem 9's mod with this game. Works very nicely. So if you have an RTX based GPU, I would recommend using it over Duke FC's mod. Even afterburner overlay works with it. Okay, here we are getting around 130 FPS. Head to the next area which is more demanding. Observing some slight artifacts around the character model. Image quality is decent.
fight against that big guy. Yeah, if you drop down to 95. Still, the game is running very smoothly. Controls are responsive. Big open area here. I am expecting the FPS to tank. Drop down to around 95. Block their attacks. I observed a good amount of performance gain in this game with Luke FC mod. The game's interface did not flicker as well. Now I'll be trying out the next game. First I'll run Dying Light Part 2 without frame generation. Even New Game 9's mod is compatible with this game. You need to use their universal DLL version of the mod. I'm using high quality ray tracing preset, DLSS enabled, set to quality, reflex enabled as well. Full HD resolution. Start the game. We are in. Here we are getting around 65 to 70 FPS. I'll just drop down. Need to be careful. Don't want to take any fall damage. But I have to take the risk. Drop down on this truck. That was close. I have a baseball bat. I'll just swing it around. Undead. Sixty to seventy FPS. This is the perfect scenario for frame generation. Now I'll show you the mod setup process. Copy the mod's common files. These two files. Paste them in the games install directory. Click on the three dots under its box art. Click on manage. Click on the folder icon. Open ph folder. Open work folder. Open bin folder. Open x64 folder. Paste the files here. This game uses FSR version 2.0, so copy the ASI file corresponding to it. I have already extracted it. Paste it in the same directory where you pasted the previous files. Here. And that's it, we are ready to run the game. A new window will pop up and show you some logs. Using the same settings as before, now I have access to frame generation, I'll set it to on. Apply. We are in. Here FPS is around 100. Yeah, the game is running very smoothly. Unfortunately, the crosshair is flickering. Game's HUD elements are also flickering. As you can see. Flickering is very easily noticeable when I move the camera quickly. I tested Nukem 9's mod with this game as well, observed the same issue. I hope both of the models will be able to fix this issue soon in the future update. <laughs> FPS stays around 100. I'll end the video here guys, I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.